Are you ready? Oh, this it was made for Keith Richards, a signed set list. This is respect, man. I can tell you the truth about that. Gather on my friends, it's time to play Rock and Tell, this time with Meredith Brooks. You know her from her famous song, Bitch. And uh, now we're gonna get to see all of her goodies. What do you got for me today, Meredith? Okay, well, this one is a sad and happy one. It used to be a lot more happy. Um, I'm really grateful I have it though. It is Prince's stage towel. Whoa, you know you are famous when you have monogrammed stage towels. And his pick from a show that we did in Florida. And after the show, I'm sure he would have like hung out with me, but he <laughs> wasn't really the hangout time. But he did leave me this. I was gonna say, did he leave it? Did you swipe it? How is it actually in your possession? Yeah, he, he gave it to me and it was kind of a, if you think about it, it's kind of a sexy little thing because he was so sweaty on it. I've never washed it. This is respect, man. He gave me his pick too. So I was like, I want to chase his car after this, but I, I, everybody said, be cool. I'm like, I can't be cool. I mean, this and this, I might have to make a fool out of myself. And I'm a girl and I'm dark hair. So you know what that means. I mean, Apollonia, like all of them. Look at Maybe this is an invitation, I'm thinking in my head. <clears throat> and then I have to stop myself and I'm like, wait a minute, there's also a lot more that goes with that. Okay, never mind. I'll just take this and go. Meredith, I've got to ask, have you just kept the guitar pick on display or have you actually played with it? As you can kind of see, um, I used to play play with it and stuff. And the towel I just actually found in my towel closet last night. Stop. I, I couldn't remember where I put it. And so um, I got a big talking to by my son and husband who think I'm insane. About respecting prints and items that belong to prints? Yeah, so that'll be handled um, after this interview. <laughs> We're gonna put it in a safer place. All right, what else do you have to show me? This is a signed set list. It's signed by all of the Rolling Stones. So did you have to twist someone's arm to make sure that all of them got it? Or how did, I mean, why did the stars align for you? I didn't know anything about that. Uh, we never signed this thing. So I was like, oh, thanks for your set list. <laughs> <laughs> thanks guys. Then I'm sure someone else was like, do you know? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. oh, what do I have here? Let's see, what do I have here? What crazy little thing? This is an electric acoustic it was made for Keith Richards, but for whatever reason, he just decided he didn't want it. Mwah. Now, hold up, hold up, hold up. More to the story. I mean, did he give it to you or did someone say this was gonna be made for him and he doesn't want it, so now do you want it? The custom fender shop guy, he said, well, do you mind if I give it to Marathon because th she's gonna want this? And he said, no, that was fine. So I had this blessing and I got it. I don't know why the hell he didn't want this. Like, are you crazy? But I, I mean, he probably has a million guitars. And it's yours. All right, we are talking to Meredith Brooks. What other items can you show us for rock and tell? Oh, that's all I thought I was supposed to have. Oh, come on, behind you. I, I like some spontaneous items. Grab a guitar or pull something off the wall right there behind you. Oh. Oh, wait, I think you have Guitar Player Magazine up there, right? I can tell you the truth about that. You know what Sean told me? What? Should I tell you? Yeah. It's kind of a show and tell. Okay. I like the tell. You know what he said he did? He said I wasn't very smart because back then they had pagers. Mm -hmm. And he said that he bought <laughs> thousands of pagers and gave them to everybody. And they had set times that they would all set off these pagers for people to call the radio station. And by Sean, you mean Puff Daddy, who was in the number one spot and keeping you out of that because you were stuck at number two, right? Yeah, I couldn't tell if he was like boasting or felt bad. I think maybe a little of both, but it, I mean, he was nice it was, about it. Was, it. it was like, he was at the confessional, right? He just it had to get off his chest. And he was super nice and I, I really liked him, but kind of at the same time was like, you couldn't just like one week, like not do that. <laughs> he said, he goes, I feel kind of bad about it now. Well, I want to make it up to you. I'm like, how are you going to make it up to me? He goes, I'll fly in New York and we'll do a song or something or something. <laughs> I'm like, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. no, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm good. 
Well, Meredith, thank you so much for playing Rock and Tell with us, and uh, congratulations on the 25th anniversary of your song, thank hit, you. smash hit song, bitch. Uh, so many people adored this song then and now. Well, thank you. Thanks for making it easy. Yeah, baby. of course. No, thank you. Talk to you soon. Hey there. Thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is or who your favorite bands are and what artists you're into or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you. That's the point, all right? Keep it coming.